Hi everybody, this is Brian Seymour, Director of Instructional Technology for Pickerington Local School District. Today we're going to have a conversation about how to use Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is a video and audio chat uh, where you can have up to 10 participants inside of the same chat window or, or chat video chat. Um, I think this has a lot of advantages um, for us to be able to do professional development across the district, um, as well as some things with TBTs, where if you're the only person in your building teaching a certain subject or certain content, you could then have communications through Google Hangouts with somebody else um, at the other high school, at the other elementary school, so on and so forth. Uh, so basically what you're going to do with Google Hangouts is to do Google Hangouts, you have to have your Google Plus account created. So if you haven't done Google Plus yet, please go back to the overview to learn how to turn that on and then watch the Google um, Plus 101 video to, just to give you a little bit of a rundown of what Google Plus is. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Google Plus here. And this is my Google Plus and you'll notice that it'll pop up over here on the side will be Google Hangouts, so it says a new Hangout. So what I've got is I've got my computer sitting here on the desk and I've got another laptop over on the table off to the side over here that's logged in as Bob Ross. Alright, so our fictitious um, new user. So if I want to have a conversation with Bob Ross, I just go down here to say where it says start a new Hangout, video Hangout, click on start a new Hangout, and then the Hangout page will come up. We want to make sure that we are activating um, our camera and microphone so this is basically giving it the ability to do that click on allow and then I'm just gonna type in whoever I want to talk to so if I wanted to talk to Bob Ross I just start typing in everybody with Bob starts to pop up and I'm gonna click on invite okay. so now it's calling Bob Ross so over on my computer over here on the side it now says would you like to chat so I'm gonna hit the options are answer and decline so I'm going to hit on answer, and now as you can see, um, there's my computer off to the side, and now I'm just basically having a communication, so I can see myself here and um, on the computer here. So if you move the mouse around, you start to see some objects. Um, so you got to invite people, mute. So if we go ahead and Camera, camera, broadband, broadband settings, settings, and leave, leave call. call. So what so I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave, leave the call. call. And what you saw basically um, was um, some information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that computer, I'm going to move it a little bit further away so we don't get that feedback, and then I'm going to call back again. All right? So we'll move the computer. Now this time Bob Ross is going to call me. So now Bob Ross is calling me. Join. All right, so now you can see the computer's a little bit further away um, in my office here. Over here off to the side, you've got a couple things. You can do just chat. You can screen share. So what I could actually do is share my screen. So if I wanted to um, share my desktop with him, I can do that. So if you're doing something that you want multiple people to see, PowerPoints, presentations, all that. So we could stop. Capture the image of what you see. You can draw. Um, Google effects, kind of fun, little stuff to play around with, nothing too major. 
And then YouTube is available as well as adding some other apps into it. So we're going to leave that call because I'm sure we're getting some really weird feedback with that. But basically what this will allow you to do is then have those communications back and forth between people um, through a, a video uh, format. You can also eliminate the video portion and just do audio. Um, you can also um, just do chat if you want as well. So um, you can look down through different um, settings and so on and so forth with that. Um, but basically that is activated and turned on in all of the buildings. So basically all you'd have to do is just start communicating. Obviously you want to let that person know that you're having that communication. You can also do this on the iPhone and on the iPad as well. It tends to not work as good if, if you have it on the computer just because of processor speed and all those kinds of things. So that is Google Hangouts, uh, the basics of it, and then having some voice chats and some uh, messages back and forth uh, between uh, inside of our district. All right, thank you very much.